we could be looking at snowfall up over a foot or more. And that's a big deal because our deepest two day snowfall since the 14 inches that plastered the city back in 2005. We'll be dealing with that here. Meteorologist Mike Seidel watching the flakes fly. And Mike, um, I just said that you know we're going to stay as all snow. So what are temperatures like mm -hmm. right now in Omaha? We're definitely cold enough, right? Oh, certainly. We're in the mid 20s and the temperature is not going to change today, Jen. So we stay in the mid 20s. So as you know, the consistency of the snow is powdery. And then when the winds pick up this afternoon and tonight, gusting 30, 35 miles an hour from the northeast, that's going to blow the snow around. So we're concerned about some blowing snow, too. Right now, the snow slowly picking up the uh, airport intensity. Visibility is three miles, so that's light snow over there at Epley, uh, north and that would be just north and east of town. This is 72nd Street. Notice we've got some slushy accumulation now because of the intensity. And keep in mind, here's the key. Thank you. It's been below freezing since late Thursday. So these roads in this ground is cold. It was not like 50 or 55 yesterday. So everything's cold and the snow is sticking very quickly, even though they put down some treatment. Behind me is I-80, uh, east and westbound, rush hour. Not not too bad right now. I think the traffic is slowing down just a little bit, but I want to show you what it looks like uh, down 72nd Street. We've got a hill here, a lot of hills around Omaha, so you got to watch the braking, the distance, and slow down. You can see that section of 72nd Street coming this way towards I-80 is snow-packed and snow-covered. Speaking of snow-packed and snow-covered, let's go out to Charles Peak. He's live in Lincoln, Nebraska on the surface streets. They started snowing a few hours earlier, so they got a head start because they're farther south and west. And those roads, too, uh, another situation where you need extra distance and you need to slow down that speed. So the snow will continue into this evening. We're looking for 8 to 12 inches of snow here in Omaha. That is a big storm. The last time we had 8 inches or more in a single day was 16 years ago, Kelly. And here's a fact. Wow. They've only had 10 inches or more in one day in Omaha since 1881, only 10 times. So if we get 10 inches of snow before midnight, that's only the 11th time in about 140 years. So that puts it wow. in perspective how, how big this storm could turn out to be. That and is a surprising the associated impacts fact. too. Yeah, the impacts. I mean, I'm just amazed at that stat, Mike. It's not too often that we see that kind of snowfall for your location in Omaha. So if we could get it on over to Mike Seidel in the Omaha area. Just over the last couple of hours, the snow has been slowly picking its way up uh, the roads. Mike, this morning, how are they looking? They're going downhill very quickly. It's been below freezing since Thursday night, so the surfaces are cold. The ground is cold. This is I-80 eastbound towards Omaha to the left, westbound, going to Lincoln, where it started snowing several hours earlier. Their roads have been snowpacked and snow covered since before sunrise. And you can see how the intensity has really dropped down as we have gone through the morning hours, if you've been watching, and cars are slowing down. There's kind of a hill here coming down 72nd Street, and you really have to give yourself some extra braking distance and extra room, or you're going to be uh, rear-ending somebody. That's the key, as we always remind you, in winter driving. As far as the snowfall total, 8 to 12 inches, and Jen and I have been talking about this all morning. If they get at least 8 inches of snow, that's the biggest calendar day snowfall in 16 years. So put that in uh, the back of your head and think about, you know, how much snow they get here average on an average season, a little over 26 inches. So they may get a third of their seasonal average just between now and midnight tonight. Airports being impacted, 17 flights canceled out of Epley, in and out of Epley, but the biggest impacts over at O'Hare, uh, they've canceled just over 90 flights. That's about half of all the cancellations system-wide. But again, if you consider O'Hare pre-COVID days, that's not a lot of flights, and about half of those are regional jets. The other thing to consider is this afternoon, as we get into this afternoon this evening, the wind is going to ramp up from the northeast. We could get gusts over 30 miles an hour, so that's going to blow around and drift some of this powdery snow, especially in areas wide open, like as you go out on I-80 towards uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. So this morning it kicks in, big, big storm from Omaha. They're already running above average for the season, but keep in mind in January, it's been very warm and they're running a deficit of snowfall here in this yeah. Midwestern city. Yeah, I was looking at the winter severity index, and Mike, and for you guys are, are moderate there, um, but on the verge of mild. And if you didn't get this big snowstorm, I think you'd you know, go very quickly into mild. And that's the case for so many right. cities across this area.